Hello, welcome to Cracking the Cryptic Tennis, anyone? That is the title of our new Patreon reward. August the 1st, as the first of every month, brings a new puzzle pack. Um, there is a prize for one correct entry that we get by the 20th of the month. Do join us on Patreon if you haven't already, or renew if you haven't, or just have a go if you're already a Patreon. The pack is by Glum Hippo and ourselves. There are six, well, there are six Sudokus, and then there's an intriguing meta puzzle to um, link them all together. As I say, it's called Tennis Anyone, and the puzzles are themed on tennis. The, the conceit is that your local or your tennis club has realized that it's woefully understaffed to run a tournament and you have to help out. Um, and <laughs> Uh, please have a go at the puzzles. We think they're good fun, um, although it's quite early in the process to have found out whether people are enjoying them yet. We'll let you know tomorrow, I guess. Um, but give it a try. I think, I think you will enjoy them. Uh, the last puzzle particularly is an absolute doozy by Glum Hippo. Um, yeah, it really interesting stuff. Do have a go. Right, uh, that's why it's worth joining Patreon, particularly at the moment. There are also all of our apps, which feature um, all sorts of constraints, including Domino Sudoku, so these kind of Kropke dots will have featured in those. You would have had some practice if you had that app. Uh, for this puzzle, which has been sent to us by Oxjufs. Um, Quickly though, there's also Sven Sudoku Pad, the Discord server, the catalogue of our puzzles and our merchandise on the links under the video. But the first link is to this puzzle and the rules are these. Normal Sudoku rules apply, so one to nine in every row, column and three by three box. Now, the green line is a German whisper line, so adjacent digits along the green line have a difference of at least five. Cells joined by a black dot have a ratio of two to one, so one is half the other. And a cell with a filled circle must be odd, and a cell with a filled square must be even. That's it. So, don't know how this is going to play out. Give it a try. I'm going to start now and say, let's get cracking. Um, don't know whether to start with the black dots or the whisper. Let's try. Let's try this cell. This cell is odd, but it's on a black dot. So. The six digits that can go on black dots, that can have a partner that is a Sudoku number that is either half or double them, are one, two, three, four, six, eight. Now you have noticed that only two of those are odd, and they are one and three. Their partners on the black dot, their partner would be two or six. Oh, there's another, there's another grey circle on a black dot there. So the same conditions apply. Now, does that do anything much? No. Okay, the, right, I'm going to canter through the things we know about whisper lines, um, or some of them anyway. Whisper lines have to alternate between digits higher than five and digits lower than five. And fours and sixes are quite difficult to place because they can only have one possible neighbour. So this cell I'm in, well, I mean, it's ridiculous to say that. Okay, this cell couldn't be a four or a six because it's two neighbors, although either of them, I was gonna say either of them could be nine. I suppose the even one couldn't, but it couldn't be there or there, four or six. So, okay, these odd digits. I don't know, I suppose. Well, they're not five. They're one, three, seven, or nine. Five can't go on a whisper line at all because there are no possible neighbours. Um, so these are even. No, that's nonsense. Sorry, I'm getting mixed up between parity and polarity. Okay, let's find something else to do. These are also one, three, seven, or nine. Ah, here it is, here it is. It's, of course. I, what I should have done is colored the alternate digits. I told you about the alternate thing, and then I didn't actually do any coloring as a result. So let's make alternate digits green, and the other alternates purple. Now, either purple is high, 
and green is low, or the other way around. We don't know which, but we know they alternate. But now we do know which, because this cannot be a 1-3 pair, or this cell gets broken. Actually, the same is true in the row as well. That can't be a 1-3 pair, or that gets broken. So we've just discovered that green must be high. Uh, and we can change its color to orange to represent high. We can change purple to blue to represent low. Okay, that is the color scheme I like between high and low. So these low digits, which cannot be four, are all one, two, or three. And look, there's a triple and there's a triple of one, two, three. And that means both of these cells are sixes and both of their partners are threes and threes can't be in any of these positions on the line. Look at that progress. That's nice. Now, this is a four, eight pair because four of the one, two, three, four, six, eight digits have been used up. So that's a four, eight pair. These are from five, seven, nine. This pair, I don't really know what the digits on it are, but I know they're not three and six. So they're from the one, two, four, eight family. These two families divide up into groups so that on a black dot you can only have members of the 1248 family or the 36 family. Think of them like the Montagues and the Capulets. So those are from 1248. Now this cell, oh that's fabulous, look this cell sees a 1-2 pair and a 4-8 pair so that has to be 3 or 6, that's from the Capulets. Um, and in fact, a 3-6 pair there, we can sort them out thanks to that 3. So there's going to be a 3 somewhere up here in box thingy, and a 6 somewhere here. Now, 6 could be on the square, because it fulfills all the criteria. It's high, it's even, and it could be its neighbours don't see each other. Sounds very uh, prurient, doesn't it? Anyway, um... This is 1, 2, 4, or 8. So these are from the same 1, 2, 4, 8 family, the, the Montagues, if you will. Ah, oh, that can't be a 4, 8 pair, or this would break. So 8 is not amongst them, and therefore 2 is amongst them. Now this is 1 or 5. It sees a 7, 9 pair and a 3. Same for that cell, actually. Same deal going on there. We haven't created one, two, three triples here. Right, where does five go in this row? It doesn't go on the black dot. And it doesn't go on the whisper line. So uh, we could have done that as the very first move in the puzzle. There is a five in one cell there. And that means there isn't a five in these cells and we can place the five in column seven. Now that's not a five, we can place the five in box eight. And we know there's a five in one of these two cells can't write it. That means there's not a 5 in these cells, and the 5 in column 3 is at the top, and we knew it wasn't there anyway. Okay. Um. Ah. Now what about these black, these black dot cells? If they were both low, then the four low digits would be here. Okay, they can't be a one, two pair, or those would both have to be three, and that's, that's a meaningless concept. Now, I was about to rule out being a three, six pair, but I don't think I can. Hmm, okay, don't know. This is seven, eight, or nine. It can't be six because of the box. Ah, six and six. See those cells. Ooh, so six is either in that black dot or one of those two. Whichever it is, it would be quite helpful to know, and I don't yet. Um, what next? The four eight pair here, looking at that corner. So that's not four or eight. That means this can't be eight. Now there has to be a two in one of these cells. And what does that mean? There's a two in one of these cells. So now there's a two in one of these three. Uh, five, three, six, two. One in this box. It's 
either there or on the black dot. Hmm, a bit stuck now. 7936 across the middle. Maybe there's something. Oh, this is an even cell. It's an. Ah, this is a square. I forgot this. I wrote 789 in it. I nearly said I writ 789 in it. I wrote 789 in it, but it's even, so that's 8. Right, so 4 in this column. I don't know, I mean, I could have thought of that before. It didn't need me to do that. But it has to be in one of those cells. Um... Ah, this can't be a 6-3 black dot, because neither of them can be 3, so that's not a 6. So, well, that hasn't decided anything. It's not a 6-3 black dot. And, oh, and this can't be 1, 2, or 8, or 3, or 6. That's a 4. Oh, that's taken a while, sorry. Right, this is 2 or 8. That's just Sudoku. No, that's just Kropke. Um... We've got six, seven, or nine in these cells, including a six for sure. Mm, I was going to say that. If that's an eight. Oh, look, there's a black dot here. Oh, that's simple. Again, Mark misses the obvious. No doubt my mouse has hovered over it for ages, and that's square. Uh, this can't be a one, because both of those would have to be two. So that's... Oops, that's a 2, that's a 1, this must now be a 4, that's not a 2, that's not a 1, this isn't a 1, hasn't done anything on the whisper line, um, no, hasn't forced that to be 9 as far as I can see, 2, 4, 3, 6, one. Oh, maybe it hasn't quite done as much as I thought it was doing. There is definitely a 2 in this pair. If this was 2, 4, that would be 8. Yeah, I don't know what that means. Right, there's a 4 in one of those two cells. Um, yeah, let's look along here. We've got, this is, well, 6 is still possible there. 6, 7 or 9. In fact, 6 is in one of these three cells. That's just Sudoku. So five and six are there. One, two, eight. These are for these can't be a three. Ah, three and five and six are all over here. Look at this pair of three, five, sixes. It's kind of a triple X wing. This is three, five, and six. That one has to be a six in the corner. That's going to be very helpful because six must touch ones on the whisper line. So that becomes a two. This is now not one, that's not two. This is even and it's high and it's not six, that's eight. This is even and it's high and it's not eight, that's six. I did it again, didn't I? I wrote in six, seven, nine there after bemoaning my inability to note that seven, eight, nine's even digit was obvious. I did it again here. There you go, that's Mark solving Sudoku for you. Now, that's a 1 next to another 6 on this line. Um, and now there's got to be a 1 in the central box, which can't be there, 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 or there. Therefore, it's in the middle. It's touching a 2. That makes this a 3. Now, that does force the hand on the whisper line. 9 there, 7 there. This has become a 5. That fixes 5 up here. This is a nice flow to the puzzle. This is not 1 or 8 now. This is not 4, so it's 2 or 7, and that's one of the above. Now, what's going on here? This cannot have an 8 or a 1 or a 6. I believe it has to be a 2-4 pair remaining out of the possibilities. That fixes that, and this, that makes that a 9. This can be a 7. 2, 4. This is now... Two or eight, in fact, it's eight, definitely. One, two, and seven in the row. I'm just going to be a little careful there. Um, but in this row, that's more helpful. Nine and four, I can fill them in. That means we've got one, two on the black dot, and this is where seven ends up. 
That puts one on the left, two on the right, one there, seven, nine pair down here. Now, in this box, nine, eight, and five to place. I thought they might be a bit more helpful. This, that's become a nine. Looked at both vertically and horizontally. Four, nine, six. Three can't be here. Oh yes, look at this row. We've got five and seven to place. Straight forward. That five fixes eight there. Now we've got a three eight pair up here. That makes this a two on the dot. One in the center of the box. We might get a three in the corner there. Three nine one five. This is a four two pair. We can do those. And this is three, six, eight, and I can place the three, but not the six, eight pair. That gives us an impossibility in the corner. That is rather depressing. What's happened here? Um, what's happened here is I thought that was a three, six, eight triple, and it's not, it's a six, seven, eight triple and I am a Muppet. That's what's happened. Probably hasn't just happened, it's existed for a while, my Muppetry. It does give us a three in the corner, so we can have a bit of a party time thanks to Sven's software there. That's three in the corner. That's three in the spotlight, proving its position. Um, the one here makes this a five. Now we get three there, we get a three up here near a corner. Now, what's this? I think it has to be two or four, since it can't be one or eight. And in fact, and when I look along the row, I know what it is. So that sorts out a triple. If you were misled, sometimes we start black dot puzzles by finding a cluster and saying, oh, well, they must be a sequence. But when they cross a box boundary, not necessarily true. And you have to just be alert to that sometimes. Well, I do. Um, you might point out I'm not always alert to everything, and you'd be right. Uh, now, eight and four in the middle box, that gets me a seven at the top, four sorts out four and eight at the bottom, that makes this six and eight at the top. I've got a six here, I still can't do the pair on the right side, but I can do this pair, five, seven, now I can do the pair on the right side, five, nine, three, and a nine to finish, and that is a very nice puzzle and it didn't give me a tick. So have I still done something wrong here? Or have I... Yes, I have. Look, I've got 343 three there because I mistyped the 6 here. There we go. That's better. Um, there we are. That is uh, Target Practice by Oxjufs. I don't know if I'm pronouncing your name correctly, Oxjufs, but I like the puzzle. That's good fun. Uh, not too difficult, but... I think you trailed it as a possible guess. I, I wouldn't say it's that easy. It's a very neatly done puzzle, in fact, with a little bit of intricacy in it. And but a simple, but it took me a few moments break in of spotting that they have to be the same parity and that resolves this cell. Lovely. Um, thank you for sending that to us. Good fun. And hope to see you guys again on the channel soon. We'll be back tomorrow with more Sudoku. Bye for now.